Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to talk about very sensitive information being transmitted over HF radio. That's high frequency radio, ham radio. Uh, information, verbiage, documents, etc. that absolutely cannot be copied by anyone else uh, besides high government official equipment like the Federal Communications System. So, um, many emergency communications entities that uh, use ham radios uh, are somewhat concerned about passing sensitive information like patients uh, files from hospitals and uh, uh, the Privacy Act, all that stuff. Uh, they're very concerned about using ham radio to uh, uh, transfer these files and communicate between uh, point A to point B during an emergency situation. Well, there is one way you can do that. Now, ham radio does not allow encryption, and so we can't encrypt in ham radio. But there is one way that is as close to encryption as you can possibly get. Um, that is a mode called D-Star and D-Star, a lot of you know, is not, uh, is not new. It's a digital form of communication, digital voice. Uh, however, uh, D-Star on the HF bands uh, is very rare, extremely rare, and uh, uh, very few people can decipher it, uh, other than, like I say, governmental en entities like the uh, FCC. The reason it is so hard to decrypt is there are only two commercially made radio receivers, ham radios, that can decipher D-Star over HF. And that is two radios made both by ICOM. Uh, the first one is the ICOM IC7100 and the second one is the ICOM IC9100. Now the 9100 uh, does not come with the D-Star module uh, uh, straight out of the box. You have to order the D-Star module as an accessory. But if you have two very reasonably priced ICOM 7100s, you can communicate back and forth on the HF bands by digital voice, DV, uh, and nobody is going to be able to uh, copy you. Uh, everybody's HF radio does not have the capability of deciphering D-Star. Uh, there are a lot of D-Star radios on the market, but they're all for VHF and UHF. So, uh, consequently, this is the most secure possible way that you can communicate via ham radio, bar none. Uh, there's some other pretty private ones, and we'll get into those in a, in a later video, but uh, this one is the granddaddy of them all. And what we're going to do, we're going to do a small demo here for you, but uh, if you're part of emergency communications, you're part of a uh, hospital group, or anybody who wants to uh, communicate incognito without anybody listening in, and knowing what you're saying via ham radio during an emergency situation, these are the two radios that you could use. And the ICOM 7100 is the best bang for the buck, bar none. Uh, it's just a, about a thousand dollars, and it does not only D Star HF, it does D Star both VHF and UHF, and it does regular FM on VHF, UHF. Uh, it does uh, uh, sideband, it's all mode sideband, AM, FM. It does everything. So the best bang for the buck for ham radio, bar none. So that's all for that. Without further ado, I think we'll get right into uh, showing you how this works and uh, uh, you'll be amazed at, uh, at how uh, extremely private this communication is. Let's get going. Talk to you later. All right, guys, we have two ICOM 7100s set up and we are going to demonstrate the difference between what we hear on digital voice on D-Star and what the whole rest of the world hears 
and it's a huge difference. There's no way that anybody with a scanner or another radio of uh, any kind is going to be able to decipher what's going over these airways other than these two radios or another ICOM 9100. So here we go. I'm going to go around the corner and I'm going to transmit on Digital Voice D-Star on this frequency 28350 and you'll be able to hear what it sounds like in Digital Voice. Then we'll switch to what everybody else in the world hears and uh, it's no way you can decipher it. So here we go. N7RBP Testing one two three. Testing one two one two. Testing one two three. Testing one two three. Testing one two three. Okay, now that's what it sounds like on digital voice, regular digital voice. Now we're going to switch it over to regular FM, which is the mode that every scanner listens to, either FM or AM. Some of them even listen to single sideband, but there's no way you're going to be able to decipher what's coming over digital voice D-Star on FM, AM, or single sideband. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to FM. Okay, so this now is going to be what everybody who's listening to an FM scanner will hear when I transmit. Stand by. Okay. That is what it sounds like to everybody else on a typical scanner or on a typical FM radio. Now we're going to switch it over to single sideband, which many other radio many radios can can listen to also. And you'll hear a a, a typical background noise, which is typical of a single sideband. But uh, I'm going to go around the corner now, and I'm going to transmit again in digital voice and you'll see what it sounds like on single sideband. So that is what it sounds like on single sideband. Alright now we're going to try it on AM because there are some scanners that will monitor AM as well. Well there we are on the AM band. We'll put the squelch on. Okay, we're going to go around the corner and we're going to transmit on digital voice and you'll see what it sounds like on AM. So there you have it, guys. That was digital D-Star transmitting on all the modes that a typical scanner or any other radio can monitor and you'll hear the digital hash there's nothing that you can decipher out of that. And then you heard what it sounds like, D-Star Digital to D-Star Digital. So talk about secure communications. You can't get any more secure than that over ham radio without encryption. Okay, so for some of you hams that uh, are noticing the frequency that I'm transmitting on, which is 28.350, uh, just a note of interest, I am transmitting into a dummy load uh, because I am transmitting from one bedroom to the next bedroom which is just a few feet apart so uh, no need going into an antenna just simply into a dummy load okay guys have a great one we'll talk to you next time